Okay, we're back on the Dodge Charger Hellcat and I filled it back up. So if you looked at my last video with the high side pressures that were really high, because the shop owner here who did the VIN number, he told me this was a 6.4. I don't know how the Hellcat's good enough that the supercharged engine is the 6.2. And this is the supercharged engine. So I was overcharged and that's why I was going up to 295 PSI, three something, whatever it was. Uh, look in the last video and I show you. So I charged it back down to 624 grams instead of, instead of 700. So here's our pressures. Our low side is still too high. Our high side is still too high. Um, our cooling out the dash is only 61 degrees kind of operating like as if it wasn't a variable displacement compressor but I know they have that funky heat exchanger in there and I even have it on max AC I believe it yeah I have it on max AC I'm trying to get it down cold this one I got it as cold as what was it 53 48 degrees when I had it like 15 1800 rpms you can see the rpms over there it comes down this car really doesn't like the idle and it give you good AC at all I mean as you've seen it was 60 degrees at idle so in this circumstance if I was retrofitting the system how they did that modification with the plate heat exchanger and all that I would do a lot of tests I'd probably even put a liquid sight glass in the system before the expansion valve so I can actually see the physical state of the sight glass. Right, thank you. So that's where we're sitting. Uh, I know when I run it up here and I keep it here for a few minutes at idle, on this vehicle I should have a fan outside in front of the radiator blowing fan over the condenser to get the proper temperatures. And um, the way they have the fan, it's fixed at a really low speed. It never goes up. I believe because of these modifications, they have the ECU and everything overridden inside this vehicle that the regular fan controls are not kicking in. And it almost seems like that's the air temperature outside because of the hot engine. Uh, it almost seems like the compressor is not um, adjusting. I gotta get down there and look at what compressor part number. When I looked up the Hellcat under the air conditioning specifications, they have a big article written up on how to evacuate and how to perform procedures and stuff. It's a it's a lengthy article, and it's actually good that they have this. Oh, that was available in. Let's go over here. Getting back into. Go back. This is in um, procedures. Air conditioning. Uh, control valve, heater core, blower motor. Which one was I looking at? Pressure sensor. Damn. They got a lot of information in here. Um, I might have to do just a video on this on this Hellcat. I think that's what I'm going to be doing. This Hellcat deserves its own video. So I'm going to snapshot this for the customer. Because unless he wants me to do, I don't know, $500, $1,000 in uh, work on this vehicle to get it operating correctly. There we go. We're down to 45 I'm going to call this as about as good as it's going to get unless uh, give me another grand and let me play with it and I'll get him peak performance. Alright guys, I'll snapshot this. I'll make a boom report on this. This goes with the invoice for the customer. Oh, I lost contact with my manifold outside. Alright, see you guys later.